Hi, this is Roxana for Aditiva, and today is day 38 of the 100-day challenge. It is Friday, which means it's the weekly recap. And what have we learned this week? Hmm. The first thing that I would have to say is that whenever, and, and this happens all the time, so I'm kind of like hitting myself upside the head for it, but every time I learn about a old wife's tale or a natural remedy, I tend to wait till the last possible minute to give it a shot. It's kind of like a desperate attempt at doing something different. And you know, it is said that if we keep doing the same thing we're doing, is uh, expecting a different result, that's, that's the definition of insanity. Uh, apparently I'm guilty. Um, but um, this week, uh, if you've watched uh, a couple of other videos, you will know that a couple of days ago I started using um, organic apple cider vinegar because I had heard that it would help with the swelling of my feet. Because my feet were getting, I mean, one of them looked like the two of them together. That's how bad they were getting. And sure enough, I did that. And today's day three of, of drinking it. What I do is I put, um, and I still don't know which one is a teaspoon, which one is a tablespoon. So, I don't know. The regular spoon that you use to eat, not the soup, big, the big soup one, the other one. That thing filled with um, the vinegar and I pour it in a glass, it's got to be about 12 ounces of water. I realize that the proportions are not proper and I don't care because I still see results. Plus I drink a lot of water anyway, so that helps. The result that I was expecting, which was the, sweet to fill, the feet to swell down, um, that happened almost automatically and it has kept, uh, during the day they will swell back up because, you know, I eat stuff and it has salt in it and that's not going to help. Uh, but, um, it has been swelling less and less and less and today my feet are almost normal. And, um, there are other things, hormonal and whatnot going on also in the stress and whatnot. So that doesn't help the feet. Um, I'm not exactly fond of laying in bed all day, so that doesn't help because I'm supposed to put my feet up. The thing is that today my feet are almost normal and I've been sitting with my feet down, not propped up pretty much the entire day. So that is a good end result. Now there are other things that are happening that I was not expecting and I am going to go and look for the resources again so I can find out exactly if this is related or not. To give you an example, I am severely overweight at this particular point in time. I'm 240 pounds and I'm like 5'3". And one of the places where you see it the most is in my stomach. I look like I'm six months pregnant, normally. This morning, I woke up and I went to put on my pants and they were really normal, like not tight or anything. And when I looked at my stomach in the mirror, it looked like it had swelled down for like three months. Like I, now I look like a three-month pregnant woman instead of a six-month pregnant woman. I don't know if that's related to the apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm still going to drink the apple cider vinegar. So uh, if that is one of the effects, I'm really happy with that idea. The only effect that I know and I have not seen a significant change or maybe, I, uh, I don't know, I haven't, but maybe somebody in my house has is the hunger. I am still hungry 24 hours a day. I've been told that that tends to be curbed with the apple cider vinegar. I don't know if that's true or not. It's one of those things that I don't, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> right now it's not about the weight, it's about the health and I really don't want my feet swelling up. So we'll see what happens in the next coming weeks. Another thing that happened is that the person that I'm taking care of ended up in the hospital and now they're in a rehab facility for physical therapy. Um, it's funny because in my age group, rehab is for drug addicts. So I posted something on Facebook with a picture of this person. And I said something to the effect of she's in rehab and then I went ahead and fixed it. I said, rehab for physical therapy. Um, everybody understood what I was trying to say except for the fact that I felt guilty about saying it. It's really funny how perspective changes across the years. Right nowadays, pretty much everybody that goes to a hospital ends up going to a rehab facility for a couple of days just to get back on their feet. I just don't know why they don't just leave you in the hospital and give you the rehab in the hospital and just charge you for the one thing. But um, that's the way the system is set up right now. 
she is in rehab she is getting a lot of care and attention all pretty much everybody that works her there loves her already and that's not a surprise to any of us because she is the most lovable person you'll ever meet um i have learned a couple of things about when you put somebody in rehab and it gives you more time to realize how n much you're not taking care of yourself because I feel guilty that I'm not doing whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing for her. And um, yesterday, the day before, the, the Wednesday, oh my God, you would have thought that I had killed somebody. I was so depressed. And it was because I kept missing, oh, I'm supposed to feed her now. Oh, I'm supposed to do that. And since I wasn't doing it, I was like, oh, is she eating? Is she eating fair? Is she sleeping? Is she doing this? So one lesson I will give anybody that's taking care of a loved one is make sure that you make time for yourself so that when that situation is over you haven't lost yourself in the situation you, you know what I mean like we have this tendency when we have a job we are our job we are not a person doing the job we turn into our job like if you're a salesperson and they ask you so what's up with you well I'm selling in, in, in your 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 persona, who you are, becomes who, what you do. When you're a caretaker, that even becomes more ingrained for some reason. And what I'm telling you is that beware of that danger. Because once that situation is over, what happens usually is that people get really upset and really depressed because they don't find a purpose in their life. And you have a purpose in your life. You just have to take a break to take care of this person for a moment. So don't forget to take care of yourself and keep your own personality and your own things going so that when the situation is over, be it because you put them in a home or because they passed away or because they got better, any of them um, is going to impact you directly because now you're no longer taking care of that person. So beware of that situation. The third lesson that I've learned this week is that no matter what you do, you're always going to feel guilty. Um, if I would have brought her home, I would have felt guilty that she didn't have the best care possible because I'm not a nurse. If I would have left her in the hospital for a couple more days, I would have felt guilty because she really didn't need it and she was going to get more confused. Um, when I put her in the rehab facility, I felt guilty because I was not with her 24-7. Her no matter what you do, you're always going to feel guilty. What you have to learn to do is let go of the guilt. You're making the best decision that you can at the moment. Had I known how the rehab um, facility works for the physical therapy, I probably would have done it in February when she got out of the hospital too. But because I didn't know what was what it would entail, I went ahead and brought her here and her rehabilitation and her physical therapy took care here. And it wasn't every day. It was a couple times a week and blah, blah, blah. For some reason that I will never understand, um, insurance plans don't cover people for physical therapy at home in the beginning five days a week but they will cover it if it's in rehab makes no sense but that's how it works so what I'm telling you is do those three things make sure you take care of yourself so that you don't lose yourself in the situation learn to not feel as guilty as you do and apple cider vinegar is awesome I thank you for watching today again it's day 38 of the 100 day challenge and this is Roxana Faravidiva you have a wonderful weekend